Welcome back. Let's talk to Connor Campbell, a financial analyst at Spreadex. Morning to you, Connor. Morning. Um, let's have a look at the Dow Jones. Um, key events. What's yeah. going on? Well, we've had an awful, you know, awful few sessions. It bounced back a bit last night. It's now trading above that 21,700 mark. There's, our clients really don't fancy it, though. They were selling yesterday as it was heading towards 21,600, and they're still selling it around that 21,700 mark. I think there's just there's too much macro uncertainty yeah. around the Dow Jones at the moment. Not only you've got the US North Korea tensions, that you know they those took a back seat last week, but with the US uh, set to perform military exercises in South Korea, you know who knows how that's going to go this week. Then you've sort of got Trump's domestic chaos as well. He seems to have announced that he's going to send more troops into Afghanistan this morning. And if you're a cynic, you could argue that that was him just trying to distract from, you know, the latest key personnel departure in Steve Bannon last week, uh, continue sort of displeasure with his reaction to Charlottesville, and most importantly, uh, Gary Cohn, who's this sort of key uh, economic advisor, the person that would ostensibly push through the infrastructure and tax plans, he was reportedly disgusted with Trump's comments around Charlottesville, and there was a lot of speculation last week whether he would resign. You know, I think that, that still, even though the White House denied it, that still hasn't fully been cleared up. So there's a lot hanging over the Dow Jones at the moment, you know, a particularly Trump-shaped cloud. And I think our, our, our clients just aren't willing to get involved with it until some of those issues have perhaps settled somewhat. Connor, thank you very much indeed.